Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo, and welcome again to my scrapbook table. This is another vacation layout. These are some photos of Bermuda. They were taken near where the ship docked. I, these are all horizontal photos. I don't have any vertical ones. Um, there's a page protector per pocket page I'm going to use beside it. I wish I'd had one that was all horizontal photos, but I don't. Here I have some 4x6 pocket cards and elements that I cut from other 4x6 pocket cards. There's some Stampin' Up! paper that I'm going to use. I want the blues, I don't want the greens, but I'm going to cut those into strips and use them. I think I'm going to use this What a Lovely Day title, but that goes awry because I created this over, I think, three evenings, and I kind of lost track of my vision at the beginning that I'd had. so. I end up not being able to use that. So what I'm doing, I'm going to cut several strips of this variegated paper, tear them, and so there's lots of paper tearing on here which fulfills day 16 of Scrap Timber 2023. I ink up all the edges. I'm using Uncharted Mariner and Faded Jeans. I thought Uncharted Mariner was appropriate for this page. <laughs> the color is, I love that color. It's very pretty. I love dark blues. So there are all the strips inked up. And I'm going to layer those on the page. The way I do that, I took my, that's how I think I want them laid out. So I took my Creative Memories um, Repositionable Temporary Adhesive. This is one of the best tools I have. I use it regularly. I keep it on my desk all the time. Um, I don't sell creative memories. I'm not trying to get you to order anything. I just really like it. And it's a bit pricey, but it's a valuable tool. And um, one of them actually lasts me quite a while. So I think it's well worth it because it gives me room to change my mind. It gives me room to adjust things like these strips. I could move them all around until I got them the way I want them. And so I'm just layering these up. I, I was switching in another sheet of paper that I had because I didn't have quite enough of the, all the Stampin' Up! paper. So I had a piece of Creative Memories blue patterned paper that fit the color scheme. So I used that as well. I trimmed them to all different lengths. I tried to alternate and work in some of those lighter ones and here you'll see I'm gonna I need one more toward the bottom so I'm gonna adjust move some of these around a little bit and get that lighter one toward the bottom and that's about how it stays you'll see in a moment that I end up making a big mistake there but I'll tell you about that in a minute so I have matted my photos in white. I have a shaker element there that I'll tell you more about in a little bit. I was very happy with how that turned out. I have some other hexagon shapes that I have cut out from pocket cards that all went together and I'll figure out in a minute what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to use these now. I decide, forgot about the gold title. I'm going to use those silver letters and I have a sapphire sparkle pen. I don't know what they're called from close to my heart. And now I decide it's time to go ahead and add some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to the ends of these strips so that they stay exactly where I want them. They're all tacked down now. And I want to get that corner of that one there. And then I flip my page over so that I can do the other side. And here is where the mistake happens because I never turned the page back around and I ended up creating the entire page with the torn edges facing down instead of up. By the time I realized it, everything's glued down. There was no moving it. I was very sad, but it is what it is. Um, someone flipping through my book would probably never notice, so it'll be okay, but I was really annoyed with myself. I was making this, finishing this very late one night after a long busy day, and um, 
I should have gone to bed, but I knew I wasn't going to be able to fall asleep right away, so I decided to come downstairs for an hour or so and finish this up. And I do really like how it ended up, but I did make two blunders. And there I ran out of my ATG adhesive. Um, I don't know for sure that I have any more. I might have one more in a crop bag that I can dig out, but I just grabbed my Creative Memories tape runner to finish up this layout. And I realize since this is going to overlap the other photo, the one on the bottom needs to get adhered first. These photos were taken near the where the cruise ship docked in Bermuda. It's called King's Wharf and Royal Navy Dockyard. I don't know if those are two names for the same place or if they're just two places that are really close together. But the buildings there are really neat. Um, it used to be an actual naval base. It served as a base till 1951, I think. And now they have turned the buildings, beautiful old stone buildings. They're just gorgeous. Um, there's a museum there. There are shops, all sorts of shops, which we went and did a little souvenir shopping. Restaurants and pubs. Um, there were some costumed historic interpreters there walking around. Here I put some scrap paper over my photos and my shaker element and I'm sprinkling some of this sapphire ink from close to my heart. I didn't really know what I was doing. I just opened it up and tapped it on there. At first it didn't seem to be working, but then I started getting the sprinkles I wanted. I don't know that you can really see them on the video, but hopefully in the still shots those will show up a bit for you. But I was I like it. It um especially with that shaker element, it added a really nice um, I don't know, just a little bit of visual interest. Speaking of that shaker element, I decided not to film making the shaker element because I am terrible at making them. I always have trouble and I thought it's going to go badly. I'll probably just end up cutting all of it out, so I'm not going to film it. Wouldn't you know that this shaker element went together so quickly, so easily, and I was like, what? really? Anyway. The, all the sequins in it came from a wonderful lady in a Facebook group that I'm on. I posted that just I was looking to buy some sequins and where could I order some that um, the shipping wouldn't be terrible. And this sweet lady posted, me, you can have mine. I have a whole drawer full and I never use them. Please take them. And so I did. So Patty from Oregon sent me these gorgeous sequins so many packs of sequins. I had such a fun time going through them last, last night and um, I mixed a whole bunch to create that shaker piece and I just, I really like the sparkle that it added to this page. So now I'm deciding where I'm going to put the other hexagons. They kind of remind me of the window in a ship, you know, the porthole. Um, I know they're not exactly that, but they do give that feel, so I like them. They fit the color scheme and I use the one on the bottom right to eventually put the date there using the same silver letter stickers that I did for the title. And I didn't have a vertical picture so I cut this one into 4x4. Four four. I added a little bit of white to the bottom and top and then I just placed it on a pocket card. And it's okay. It's not ideal but it's okay. And this is everything basically but the journaling. And so the first journaling I did, I ended up, it wasn't going to fit. I was writing too big. I was making, not making good use of the space. So, and this, this hexagon is going to go on the journal card. I ended up, I stopped the camera. I made another journal card and I'm, I wrote on it. You can see it there. I used my little notebook um, where I took notes on vacation. My friend Jen made me that book, like binding it in all everything. It's so fun. I love it. I'm going to use it for another trip as well. There I've used the silver letters to put 623. The slash is actually the letter L, but I like it. 
and it was a way to bring the silver from the top of the page down to the bottom. I thought that was a good way to use those. And my journaling there reads, because of the heat, we went to the beach first thing in the morning. Snorkel Park Beach was very close to the ship, but we had to pay to use it. Since this was our only opportunity to put our toes in the water in Bermuda, we decided it was worth it. The clear water was amazing and we saw plenty of colorful fish. After just two hours, it was getting too hot. So we went back to the ship, had our worship service and rested. Dinner was New York strip steak and more escargot. Sunday, June 25th. And I used some of the little silver sparkle things from the alphabet sheet to just put a few there. And this is where I realized this journaling actually goes more with the photos that are on the flip side of this pocket page. Um, so what I end up doing is I flip that around. I make another journaling spot that I create from some of these pocket cards and um, put it there. So it worked out just fine. I have that orange container I showed you of these pocket cards. I have had these for years, probably six years or more. And I was so happy to get six or seven of them used up on this page. That really made me happy. And maybe I already said that. I don't know because this is the third time to do the voiceover because the first two I messed up. So I started over. Three seems to be the magic number for me to get a voiceover done. I'm not sure why, but that's how it goes. So I'm using my corner rounder to make this match the other pocket cards. I cut out the graph paper part of a, a pocket card that was the edge was just the wrong color, but I wanted the grid paper to write on. And I glue that in the center of that blue piece of paper, which uses up all of that blue except one tiny scrap that I stuck back in my scrap bin. I have gotten a lot of use from that one sheet of paper. And there, now I have another journaling card. And this is where I just wrote about the things I told you about the Royal Navy Dockyard and how it was a base and about the buildings and things. I, some of the things I didn't remember for sure, so I just looked them up on Google to get the date and um, of when it, when the base was decommissioned. Google is very handy for journaling. And again, I grabbed that alphabet sheet to get a few more of those silver dots. And that will finish this off. There are some still shots coming up. Even though my main page is upside down, I'm happy with this layout and how it turned out. I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.